Hello and welcome to Indus News. My name is Hamza Amjad coming to you from our studios in Lahore. These are the top stories of this hour. An Ethiopian Airlines flight to Nairobi has crashed with 149 passengers and eight crew members aboard. Airline officials said that the flight ET302 crashed near the town of Bishoftu, southeast of the capital Addis Ababa. Ethiopia's state broadcaster said that none of the passengers on board the crashed Boeing 737 survived. In Afghanistan, at least 112 Taliban fighters and civilians have been killed in the latest fighting across the country. The Defence Ministry in a statement said that 102 insurgents were killed in US-led airstrikes and ground operations across the country. Taliban said that 10 civilians were killed by Afghan security forces in attacks on their homes in southern Kandahar and eastern Paktika provinces. Next up, Pakistan has asked the top financial watchdog, the Financial Action Task Force, to remove India as its co-chair, citing New Delhi's animosity towards Pakistan. In a letter, Finance Minister Asad Umar asked the FATF to appoint any other member state as the co-chair of the Asia-Pacific Joint Group to ensure impartial assessment. In another development, India's National Investigation Agency has summoned Kashmir's top freedom struggle leaders for questioning into a funding case registered in 2017. Mirais Umar Farooq and Naseem Gilani have been asked to appear before the agency at its New Delhi headquarters on Monday. Meanwhile, a general strike is underway in the Indian-occupied Kashmir against the harassment of Kashmiri struggle leaders. And Pakistan has asked the International Cricket Council to act against Indian cricket team for wearing military caps in its match against Australia. Pakistan's Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi in a statement said that it is the ICC's responsibility to take notice of India's politicising of the sport. Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry in a tweet said that if the ICC fails to take action, Pakistan's team should wear black bands to protest Indian atrocities in occupied Kashmir.